So I got seven hours of sleep after this night shift that just passed, uh, which is unusual for me. I usually get five, get up, and I kind of train uh, while it's still kind of daytime. Today I slept for seven, seven and a half hours, got up, starving as hell, ate some food, and then the day started running out, so I just thought, okay, let me just quickly jump in here, do like an hour session of front squats and back squats and call the quits. I start warming up, and within like the second or third set of my just uh, front squatting the bar, my right shoulder starts to hurt. Now, this is familiar grounds for me, because last time I did front squats, probably eight, nine months ago, um, I spent a lot of time front squatting, and I stopped because of right shoulder pain. Um, at that time, it got so bad, I tried to kind of like play around with my form and whatnot. Nothing, nothing helped. Um, as you can see here, I started doing pull-ups. I did one set of pull-ups and my shoulder pain went away. Um, I'm still trying to think about why that is the case. I think in the front squat position, um, in the full rack, your shoulder is very much externally rotated. With pull-ups, are they internally rotated? Are you, I don't know, it's got something to do with the lats, I think. Um, but anyway, started feeling good. Now, historically speaking, as long as I can remember for myself, every single time I had shoulder pain and I, and I kind of did pull-ups, it sorted it out. Um, so bench press, rowing, all that kind of stuff that kind of gave me shoulder pain, um, I would just do pull-ups and it would go away. I don't know why, but that's always been my experience. I didn't do that last time when I did front squats nine months ago and I developed a shoulder pain. For whatever reason, I didn't do it. Um, I think because I pushed the front squats so far that even pull-ups were hurting my shoulder. Like I, I really pushed, you know, very far. Um, so today, basically, I did uh, five sets of 10 with, you know, 60 kilos front squat. And then in between those sets, I did sets of 10 of pull-ups. I ended up doing five sets of 10 with that as well. And right now I'm sitting here talking to you guys and I feel really good. Shoulder feels really, really good. So I've got a bit of a situation here. I need to do front squats to improve my back squat because front squats hit my upper back. Doing front squats, however, hurts my shoulders. So I need to do pull-ups. <laughs> see how this happens, man? Do you see, how, do you see how the body works? One thing leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. It's like a cascade of, 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 of you know, movement. So right now, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm thinking to myself, every time I walk in, I'm going to jump up and do a bunch of sets of pull-ups, as you see here. And then I'll move on to front squats, and then I'll move on to back squats. So I think this is going to be my skeleton session moving forward. Um, I'm yet to kind of think about what type of volume and intensity I'm going to do with the pull-ups. Um, clearly, I can do five sets of 10, even after a very long time of not doing the pull-ups. Um, I've said this in the past, like we all kind of have our own movements, what kind of works for us. Me and pull-ups kind of go hand in hand. I don't know why, but like I've always kind of been good at pull-ups. I, I, I don't know why. It's just maybe how I'm built. I've always kind of had kind of like a pretty good set of lats and whatever. Even when I don't train them, I kind of have all right lats. Um, so, yeah, I, I think so. I've gone just from doing back squats to doing back squats and front squats to doing back squats and front squats and pull-ups. So... I guess I'm just doing it as a prehab, um, but I know me, the moment I start doing pull-ups, I'm going to want to kind of periodize them as well. I'm going to try and kind of get them going and whatever. So right now I've got four, four movements happening, five essentially. I've got pull-ups, front squats, back squats, then I've got bench press and I've got deadlift. Deadlift right now, it seems to be like a once a week thing and it's kind of like an afterthought um, because the squats, the high volume squats, the high volume under 50% squats, I've treated my hip. I've started doing front squats and I've understood that the effects they have on the back squat is like incredible for me. But front squats hurt my shoulder, so now I have to do pull-ups. So all of a sudden, my minimalism is kind of blown out to maximalism. <laughs> but anyway, it's still kind of minimalism. But I just, I think I'm going to treat the pull-ups kind of like a, like, a, like a treat, the front squat and the, and the, and the, and the back squat. I'm going to just, you know, go easy on them, not rep them out to the max. Um, and see how I go. I think tomorrow I'm going to have some doms uh, in, my, in my lats because, frankly, I haven't done pull-ups for a long time. But I'll, I'll see how I go. So that's basically where I'm at. Um, if you guys are dealing with some sort of shoulder pain, try pull-ups. Um, try hanging for that matter. Even if you can't do pull-ups, hanging for whatever reason, man. Like I've made a video uh, uh, dedicated to this topic before. Um, shoulder pain, I think I titled it. Uh, and basically I said there that whatever you believe in creation or evolution, I think we are very 
alike, our, our, our kind of cousins, uh, monkeys, you know, primates. Um, we are built for, for hanging, you know. By the way, this is 180 times 1. Um, I decided to leave it here. Um, felt all right and whatever, but um, not ideal conditions. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're, we're, we're really built for, for hanging. So if you have any sort of shoulder pain, do pull-ups, do hanging, and I reckon you'll be all right. All right, guys, quick video today. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out.